Welcome back to Freedom Maths. My name is Rodney Monker. Bradley Rule is my spiritual advisor. Wayne Monroe is my minister responsible for national security. We're going to open up the line and we are going to invite questions. And of course, I want everybody to be respectful. Other than that, I'm cutting. As Mr. Producer, if it pleases you, you may open the line. The numbers of course, 323-7775-6980-7756. I'm sure you have a lot of questions for the minister. He's here. Don't let him get away. Ask all of the questions you really want to ask him at this time, okay? So call us, 323-7775-698-0775 and 698 You mean ask him when the minister's going to come on the show, but he's here now. So just ask him the questions you want to ask him. Welcome to Freedom March, Call Your Life. Go ahead, Call Your Life. Call are you there? Next caller, please. Welcome to Freedom March, caller. Yes, sir, your advisor. Yes, sir. You have a question? Hey, brother, you, listen, you have a question for the minister? Yes, sir. I have okay. a question for the minister. One. We'll take one. Go ahead. One. Okay. Boy, you can put me in a tight spot. I go to the one in Fort Grand Bahama yesterday with the 13-year-old being starved for not want to be a part of a gang. Now, those young men, I know you're going to catch them eventually. If you don't have them by now. What do you, what, 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 what are y'all going to do with, 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 with people like that? Because they, they, they shouldn't be amongst normal people. That, 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 that's a form of terrorism there. That's a sacrifice. You have a young man who wants to do right, and for him wanting to do right, he want to be, he's going to be punished by his, by his there. That, 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 that can't be right. What's the second question? The second one is, no, I have a statement. Uh, well. The next thing, then you have a, son that you know it's not working you know have no 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 legal form of, of, of income and can bring a 55 inch tv home put in your front room and everybody sit down and watch that tv when the police come to the house every person who watching that tv should get locked up from the baby to the we got your point, Minister. How will you answer the, him? The issue with the young men, because and the report I've received, they've all, the three of them have been identified by name. So it's simply a matter of them being apprehended. I gather that they may be juveniles, and so they would be subject to the juvenile justice system, um, which uh, may, as it's practiced now, see them charged may see them um, remanded, may see them then being sought to seek bail. The issue um, that I will raise with the prosecuting authorities here, and I suppose it's social services, because social services in the task force, is whether those are children that should be taken into state care. And by that we mean you're taken into care for the protection of the young person to say, if you are an adult and these are your children and you are raising them in a way that one day would be the member of a gang, an identifiable gang, and they would be prowling like that, then your method of raising them poses a danger. And regardless of them being able to say they should be admitted, they should not be remanded, um, there may be a case that they should be taken into state care. Now, if they are to be taken into the care of the state, the state needs to house them and manage them. And the state may not wish to house them and manage them other than in a very controlled environment. So those are the nature of the things that we're looking at now in the Ministry of National Security. But don't we have the Simpson Pen for boys and girls? No, but if you it? go to Simpson Pen, that's a school where you would be held if you are remanded. The problem with Simpson Penn is you go there, you're remanded, you go, you get bail, you're released. Oh. And you go back to your parents. My proposition that I have and um, that we're looking at now is depending on the circumstances of the allegations, that itself may show that your parents aren't fit to have the care and control okay. of you okay. and the state, the Minister of no Social Services should take you into care and then we will see about your upbringing. I have my view as to what that upbringing should look like 
um, and we can address it like that. So bail wouldn't be the issue. The issue is the parents you have have demonstrated in some circumstances their failure to properly care for you and the state should take that matter in hand. Right. So in other words, the state will end up taking the child and raising the child? Yes. Okay. That's what happens now with children who are taken into care. Okay. And, All right. and the state is supposed to work with the parent to show the parent how to parent properly so they can return the child to the parent. Thanks so much. Welcome to Freedom Lodge, Carla. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're live. I just wanted to say congratulations to Mr. Monroe for his promotions of officers across the board. We know that they have been being promoted for many years, many, many years, and we thank you for coming in and cleaning that up. Also, I'd like to thank him for sitting in the role that he sits as Minister of Security. And I'm sure he will do a great job in bringing the relief and the insight that we need to deal with this criminal, or help us to deal with criminality in our Bahamas. Thank you. You're welcome, Carol. Thank you so much. Any comments? Well, um, the, the promotions in the security forces, the one that was very long outstanding was BDOX, the prison. Um, the police had had one. When we came to office, we've done one already in the police and the defense for us. But of course, with all promotions, you always have dissatisfied persons. Right. Yes. There was a complaint where this lady said her son was a defense officer. Apparently, he was overlooked. He may have qualified, but he was not promoted. And she was wondering why is it that he was overlooked this motion, even though he may have done better. Do we have another call? Up? Defense force officers. Do you have another call? All right. Let's take this call. Welcome to Freedom March. Call your life. Yes. Um, but a quick question at two points. The first one is, I don't understand, and you maybe you can help me, please. The House of Assembly over the years have had the majority of persons in there are in the legal fraternity. Okay? You all know the ins and outs of the law. You be, you are a brilliant attorney. Or kick you know, case also. My thing is, how is it from then to now you all cannot figure a way to, to alleviate the situation where young men are given bail, I'm going to continue to be this bail from, for four and five murders, they are allowed to roam the streets. I hear what you have to say about the parents and all of the you know, issues with within the household. We, we understand that. That's where social services and you all get together and deal with that. But right now, I do not, I, I, I heard what you said about the judges and the justice, whatever, making the decision. But you all, have seen, I have seen you all get persons or, or you know, that, 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 you know with, some, with some serious, serious, serious crimes or, 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 or charges. No one seems to have the, the, the answer to finding or convincing persons to alleviate this bill because that is the problem. When mm -hmm. the commissioner of police is going to party cry at these news conferences, he is bemoaning the fact that they are being released on bail. They catch the guys. They catch them. The police are doing an excellent job in reference to that. They're doing their job. But it seems that the, the court something wrong with that and I do not understand and a lot of accusations are being made that it's because the bottom line they profit from it. Who so profit? Who, 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 so I well, want well, you to help me understand well, what is it that, that, that these persons, because I don't understand a 15, 16 year old or I'm on bail for four murders. Thank you so much, uh, Carla. Uh, uh, Thank you, Carla. This concept of lawyers making money off bail, I can tell you economically, if somebody is remanded for long periods of time and they see things as tough, um, they actually pay for their case to be driven and the money is being made off the case. What the caller hasn't grasped is what the Attorney General has said, what the Chief Justice has said, and what I highlighted earlier. The current Bail Act, in terms of persons being out on bail, charged with offenses for which they may have retaliation, visited upon them. 
that is the answer. Passing a bill that's not going to be consistent with the Constitution is not the answer. So now the Court of Appeal has held that where the facts show that somebody needs to be kept in custody for their protection, in layman speak, someone kill them if they get released. Where somebody has to be kept in custody for the public safety, again, layman speak, someone can come and kill them and may injure members of the public that they can be remanded, and those persons have been remanded. The job now of the police is to provide the evidence to the prosecutors. The job of the DPP and their prosecutors are to press for remand. And if the Supreme Court judge admits the person to bail, that their next job is to give notification of appeal to the Court of Appeal press the appeal in the Court of Appeal, and in the meantime, the person remains remanded. This trying to tinker with the Bail Act when the abundance of the law tells you that the reasons for remands are set, and we have two that we can use effectively, right. your time is better spent using them effectively, and the history of people being on bail for it. Um, I don't own that history. When I came and the commissioner and I met with the former DPP and we had a public row with him and the, fo and the opposition said we were wrong to have a public row with him, now that there's a new sheriff in town in the office of the DPP, they pushed the arguments before the court, the Supreme Court agreed, the Court of Appeal upheld it, and now this is how we're going to be moving forward. Thank you. Welcome to Freedom March. Call you live. Call you there. All right, let's get the next call. Welcome to Freedom Mars Call. You're live. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. I just want to give a little input on the um, on the bail. If you make the bail numbers basically unreachable, I, I think I think that'll keep them in jail. But the law will strike that down because bail cannot be unreasonable in the U.S. They've struck down numbers of cases like that. If you grant bail, that is prohibitory. It amounts to not granting bail. The reality of it is this. If somebody is going to be murdered when they hit the street, very likely if they would be murdered where other people are going to be murdered, the Court of Appeal has said that judges ought to remand in those circumstances. And that's the ground that we are going to advance because we know it can work because the Court of Appeal last year gave a decision to that effect. Okay, caller. Thank you so much. Welcome to Freedom Marsh. Call your life. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How you all doing? We're fine. How you doing? All right, Mr. Mario, sir. Are you responsible for the operations that come into the family islands dealing with the defense force, police force, and immigration officers when they come to the family islands to do these secret operations, sir? Um, I have a um, remit for the defense force and the police force, not immigration. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So what we see what we see on the family violence, I'm calling from North Lutheran, and we had an operation in last week, Friday, right? And what's been happening over the years, you are sending the operations, which is fine, but the operations only last like 12 to 6 hours, maybe come that morning, early, you know, and then by 12 o'clock, everybody's gone back to Nassau. Um, I see the government's decided to send defense force officers into Haiti, right? But us on the family islands, we feel violated when we have these operations. And it starts, it seems like the operations is not finished. Because what happens is individuals take to the bushes and they take cover. And when they get the signal that the, the operation or the officers left, then everything returns to normal. So I wish you and the minister responsible for immigration, so. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, spiritual advice is not a joke, sir. We're on the islands here, and we're suffering with this, this situation, okay, sir? Well, I understand we, what you're saying. I yes, smile sir. because that's what happens. I understand what you're saying. Okay, all right. I, I'm, I'm not okay, smiling but, against what but, you're saying. It happens, which is yes, the truth. Sir, but, we'll, but what we want moving forward, if it's possible, we want longer operations. We want, instead of selling officers in the 80, right? Or if you want to sell officers in the 80, fine. But we want officers stationed on these various islands. Okay, so it's fine the sentiments for a few hours, like I said, but we think it should be a longer duration. If you all can do that for the family of violence, sir. 
maybe for a few days or for a couple of weeks, or just station some of these younger guys from immigration, defense force, and police force to just do these secret operations, and we'll see a big change on this island. Thank you so much, Carla. Thank you. We appreciate you calling. You want to comment on that, Minister? Well, operation, I would say this, and be guarded when I say operational matters, are matters that I leave to the planning. And what I would say to the family islands is the problem is address, is being addressed, and they should see something more comprehensive in the near future. Yeah, well, his main concern seems to be immigration, so... But wow. when, when they do do the operation, because of the nature of them, immigration is supported by the police, and immigration is supported by the defense. Defense force. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, welcome to Freedom March, Carly. You're live. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? We're fine. How are you doing? I'm okay. Great. I'm sorry. I'm going to Sorry? Repeat your question? Are you all going back to the Mr. If we're going back to hanging, yeah. that's the question, Minister. Well, hanging is on the books. It's a matter for the courts. And if a case is made and the judge determines to award capital punishment and it survives the appellate process, of course, we will carry out the execution of the law. That's fair enough for you? Next caller. Right. Next caller. Welcome to Freedom March. Call you live. Hi, how are you? We're fine. How are you doing? I'm good. My question today is for the girl. Go ahead. Okay. I understand that you could promote everyone, or I'm talking for for and um, for us particularly. Uh, I was is how is it where you have officers being promoted that lower than other officers? I I just try What I would say is this, the promotion board is chaired by somebody other than the Commodore. I've received the promotion board matrix. A number of things are considered. And so, for instance, in one of the ranks, a very junior person was promoted because they were the only one who went to a school for the rank that they were promoted for. Um, the promotion board is made up of a captain and a number of other senior people. They look at a number of things. The starting point I found in the Defense Force promotion is a number of officers who have sat the qualification exam and sat it in April don't seem to understand that the April sitting was not for this promotional exercise. And so the April sitting is for the next promotional exercise. Um, the key to it is I understand that people are upset because they think they're qualified. They think somebody else is not qualified. The judgment that I am called on as minister to agree with or not agree with is of the executive command of the Defense Force and their promotion board as dictated by the Defense Force instructions, they come up and report to the Commodore, who sends me his suggestion. I've considered the promotion board matrix, the departmental listing, the nominal role to determine whether or not the position that the Commodore advances after all of that process, I'm prepared to endorse. And there will always be people who will be upset with promotions. And quite frankly, there will always be somebody who could probably legitimately say that they should have been promoted. Um, but to use the example the commissioner of police told me, he said every time he was passed over for promotion, he, his intention was 
the next time promotion comes up, they will know my name by my actions. So people who weren't promoted have two choices, to continue to serve meritoriously because the fact that you are promoted or not promoted doesn't mean your service isn't appreciated or uh, recognized, or to slack off. Now, if you slack off, all that will be saying is, well, that's why we didn't promote you. And then, of course, you definitely put a bullet through your chances of getting promoted in the next exercise. So these promotions are basically based on merit and not politics, right? These are not political promotions. Oh, and so far... Some, some folks feel that way. That, well, I don't know, know. Because the PLP is in power now, certain fellas on the police force can get promoted. Not necessarily because they deserve to be promoted, because of their politics. Well, is that true? The or? police force, the contracted ranks, is a matter of the commissioner of police. I have nothing to do with that. Hmm. The gazetted ranks, from inspector to assistant commissioner of police, are on the advice of the police service commission, and the commissioner or deputy commissioner is on the advice of the Prime Minister after consulting the leader of the opposition. The Defence Force promotions up to the rank of Senior Lieutenant, the Promotion Board will advise um, the Commodore who will submit it for my concurrence or otherwise. All right. All right. Thank you so much for that, Minister. Welcome to Freedom Watch Call. You're live. Yeah, yeah, sir. Good day. Good day. Uh, um, I'd like to ask the Minister, right? Go ahead. Is it legal? For the police to order your vehicle to be pulled from an area where there is a, there's no no parking sign in place. If it's causing an obstruction, yes. If in fact it's a no parking zone um, stipulated by order or act, yes. So it, it don't have no it doesn't don't have no signage. Not if it's one of the areas that, according to the Highway Code or the Road Traffic Act, you are not to park. So for instance, so for instance, you're not to park on a sidewalk. So if you park on a sidewalk, there doesn't have to be a no parking sign. If you park so that you obstruct the flow of traffic, they can tow your vehicle. But there are cases where you can carry the court in a minute. I've seen it happen, if that satisfies you, caller. Anyhow, welcome to Freedom March, caller. You're live. Caller, you there? You're live, caller. Go ahead. Yeah, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Freedom March. How oh, are This is Mr. Spiritual Advisor. Yes, ma'am. You want to speak with the minister? Um, what I call for, hi, minister, and hi, Mr. Mantra. Hello. Um, I thought the minister said he didn't know that they had murders today. There were two murders today. No, no, no. The question was whether there was a shooting in Nassau Village. Village. Oh. I think one was in, one was in your constituency. On Parkgate Road, in the vicinity yeah. of Parkgate Road. And the other one. In Yamacro, Pine Barren Road. The point yeah. that I was making is you have enough happening here that we oh. don't have to have these people Making doing up. mischief on social right. media, right. suggesting oh, okay. that there is anything else. Oh. That's okay. All right, let's take this next call. That's it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, we're coming to the end of the show. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, Minister, um, I would like to thank you. Um, I had a parting shot for you, but... Yes, but hang in. No, Minister. Okay, okay. I was just wondering whether or not politicians, members of parliament, ministers of the government, opposition politicians should be, you know, saying, I have no hanging. But I'll leave that one alone. I want to thank but that's you. A, that's about hanging. Yeah. I asked you if it was about hanging. It's about hanging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Minister, I want to thank you. And I want to draw to your attention the complaint of a wife. I told her, I will say it publicly, who tell me that somebody tried to knock down her policeman husband and how he had to jump on the windshield and all the camera near it. 
Was he at a road jack? Um, I got the impression that he may have been a semi-pedestrian. Oh, okay. And she is very upset. Is it still your policy to make sure that every corner has a CCTV? It got, uh, see now you want me to disclose operationally whether oh, they are oh. on every camera. No, Minister, I don't, I don't want you to reveal no okay. secret other okay. than that woman, she's so mad and she keeps asking me if I think it was right that the fella should try to knock down her husband. I think it is wrong. Minister, I want to thank you. My pleasure. God save the Minister of National Security. Will he find a way to hang the murderers? God save my spiritual advisor. God save the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. God save the King. Your Majesty, when will your government hang murderers? Do well, everybody. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Munker, his guests, and callers on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2020. All rights are reserved. Freedom March is powered by BTC.